everybody. It's Amy. It's Art with Amy for the Madison Public Library in the summer of 2020. There we go. So today we're going to make a little upcycled book, like just a little book. And the things that you need are a little bit unusual, but hopefully you have them at home. You need to have Elmer's glue or white glue. You need to have a stapler, some staples. You need to have a scissors. You need to have uh, some paper or I cut two little pieces of cloth. This is kind of weird cloth. See this? And then you also need to have some playing cards. So they can have anything on them, anything on the back of them like that. Uh, the only thing is don't take them out of your full deck of cards because then you'll be like wondering if playing cards like what happened to these four or these two cards you really only need two cards it can be any two that you want as well and you need some white paper so some white paper okay so we're just going to use these things to make a little book which is kind of fun that you can draw in so the first thing i do is i actually take my cards i'll put it down here so you can see it on my table Sorry, I should have put a piece of paper down so you could see better. Oh, here. I'm not going to use this. I'll just use this purple as my background so you can see it. And my, my art table is quite messy. And I'm going to take my cards. And so I think for this one, I'll use... This one, I think what I'll do is I'll use the three and the five. And then on this one, I'll flip it over and I'll use this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place them so there's a little channel right here. See that? In between them. So I'm making two different books right now. Okay. And I'm just going to take my glue, my Elmer's glue, and right here, right along this edge, I'm going to put a bead of glue here and a bead of glue here, like a long bead of glue. See that? Long bead of glue there and a long bead of glue. These are going to be the inside of my little book. Sorry about that. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. And then I'm going to take, and I sort of pre-cut this little piece of fabric so that it was about the right size. All I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right where that glue is, right over that channel. See that? See how I had that channel and now I'm just kind of going like that and I'm gluing it. And then I'll place this one. This one's a little bit shorter. I might also go like this. I think I might on this piece of fabric. Actually, I'll do it this way. Uh, I might I might on this piece of fabric do this, where I just put a little bit of glue on the edge. I didn't do that on that one right there, but that's okay. And then I'll go like this and see that channel then? I'll glue this piece of fabric right there on that channel, like that. Pretty simple, right? So this is gonna be the cover, the covers of our little books. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take some paper, and I didn't cut this paper at all. Uh, so I want to kind of lay this on here, and I've got quite a few pieces of paper together, so I think I'm going to pull a few pieces out. I maybe want to be able to have like five or six is all, simply because my stapler can only staple five or six probably at once. So if you look, this piece of paper is way too big. I can turn it this way, I guess. But I'm just going to use a pen or a pencil. And I'm going to lay it on here and then I'm going to mark. So you can see how it kind of sticks out. I'm going to mark right here. See that? And then with my scissors, I'm just going to do the best that I can and cut across it. Like that. So let's see if that fits. Yep, it fits. We want it to fit inside that space. So I'm going to do it again. And I'm just going to lay the same exact piece of paper on top of the one that I just had. See that? And then I'll mark it here, take it off, and then I'll go like this and I'll cut this one too. Like that. Perfect. So these little pieces fit in here and these little pieces fit in here. These are nice little books that you can just take with you, carry with you. You can write little notes in. You can put quotes in it. You can put like lists if you're a list maker. Or you could just take it with you. Let's say that you're going outside and you're going to sketch or draw. It's nice because it'll fit in your pocket. It's a little pocket book is what it is. 
Okay, so now what I need to do is I'm going to take this paper and I'm just gonna fold it in half. I'm not gonna fold them individually. Do you see that? I just folded them all at once. I lined up this side and then using my fingernail, these are my fingers, I'm really creasing the fold, which is right there. So see, it's gonna fit just like that. And I'll do the same thing with this one down here. I line it up and I fold it in half and I crease it again. Like that, that one will fit in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna reopen it up a little bit and I'm gonna take my handy dandy stapler. This is my favorite stapler. This is my dad's stapler. It's like a little, see him, he's like a little horse or a donkey. He looks like Roger. My friend Rachel has a donkey named Mr. Rogers and he looks like Roger, Roger the donkey. So using my stapler, I have to see if it's gonna fit. So see this, this is stapler, see how it fits right in there? What I'm doing is I'm going to that crease where I made a crease and then I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna staple it. And he might work and he might not. Sometimes Mr. Roger, my stapler is a little bit crabby. So we'll see if I can get him to work. And I didn't test him before this. So of course he's not wanting to work right, but we'll see, we'll see if we can get it to work. There we go. Try again. And I'm gonna push down and I hit that with a staple and then I push down again and I hit that with a staple so it goes through. See that? It's the same thing up here. I open it. And this is why I only kind of really have about you know, six pieces of paper together because too many pieces of paper tends to not want to work. Oh, uh oh, now I got a mess. Mr. Roger Staples is being messy. There we go. Let's try again. We'll see if we can get one more. This is such an old stapler. Sometimes he doesn't like to work the best. Nope, nope. he's got a mind of his own today, that Roger. So let's see what we got here. This is perfect. I'll try and fix it while you guys are working on your book. There we go. I think I have, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Here we go. See if I can do it. And Mr. Roger, all we need is one little state ball. Nope. He doesn't want to work. Well, let's try a, a little bit bigger set of staples. Let's see if we can get these to work. Nope, he's being, he's being really crabby. Well, that's all right. Sometimes things wanna work and sometimes things do not, right? I had one of those days the other day, nothing was going right, but it's okay. We'll set him here. So we do have one staple in this one, which will still work for us, okay. So while I was futzing with that, messing with that, you can see what happened here is my fabric, my book fabric, right? It's, it's kind of glued on there. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna actually fold this over. I'm gonna try and line up the two cards and then I'm gonna fold it right here with my fingernail. So that's gonna be that cover. And then this one, oh yeah, I forgot I had these little cardinal on the back. This one will be this cover like that. So I folded it over so there's a crease in there. And then the rest is super easy. You just take your glue, your white glue, and on the back, you put a little bit of glue on this page, a little bit of glue on that page. And you have to just glue this down. Usually I go like this and I fold it over and I just hold it or we'll put Roger on top of it. I put something heavy on top of it like that. 
So I'll do it again. This one will work, even though it's only got one state, it'll still work. I'll put a little glue here, a little glue here. See that? And then I'll lay it down on here. And I'll fold it over like that. And I will put my scissors on top of that one. It's a fun little way to make books, you know, if you're really into making little books. So here's this one. Oops. Oh, I did them backwards. That's kind of fun. Look at it. Fun. I'll flip it over back. And then I've got all these little pages in here. See all these little pages? And I can sketch or I can draw in there. Or I can make notes. I can make my lists. What would I make? You can take it outside with you. Take a couple of color cut pencils and draw. It's a bright, pretty bright sunny day today here in Madison. I do a quick little landscape. I'm just making this up. This isn't what, it, what my outside looks like, but I thought it would be kind of fun to just draw a little landscape. And greens. Like that. It's pretty green right now in Wisconsin. Maybe I have some blues. If you have the opportunity to go to water or see a lake, it's really fun. Madison has some great lakes, Wingra, Mendota, Monona. You can get on the Yahara River. Lots of stuff to do. Get outside and do it, kids. There's a little olive green down here. So it's a fun little book. So I just did a little quick little landscape. See that in my book? And I have, since I have like six pages, I now have, you know, 12 pages because I folded them over. And you can just draw in it like that. There's that one. And then this is the one that I put the actual card part on the outside, right? And it's the same thing. I have a nice little book. I could write my name in here. Amy Jo. So I know it's mine, right? I could write notes in here. My grocery list, what do I need? Bananas, candy, no, I don't need that. Bananas, candy, oh, I've been hungry lately for avocados. Avocados, how's that, avocados? Keep that in my pocket, my little pocketbook and take it wherever I go, cool. Thanks for joining me for the Madison Public Library. I hope you're having a great summer and I hope that you get the chance to get outside and then I hope that you get the chance to make some art. Thank you. Don't forget to check out Madison Public Library's We Read program. Does your family read books? Read on your phones? Listen to audiobooks or podcasts? We want to celebrate all the different kinds of reading that are already happening all around Madison. Find out how you can participate at madisonpubliclibrary.org slash we read.